Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Q&A. Uh, we're going to talk today about every realtor's favorite topic and that is realtor fees. So uh, let's just chat a little bit about who pays and um, on the buying end and on the selling end and what exactly you should be paying. So the first thing I want to mention is that when you are buying, you don't generally pay any fees. The seller is the one who pays the fees for the real estate agent who is doing the buying. Unfortunately for the seller, they pay for the seller uh, agent and the buyer agent. That's just the way it's always been here. Maybe it won't always be like that forever, but that's how it is. Uh, and it kind of works out because the buyer has to pay land transfer tax, so uh, they both have a hit when they are selling. These are the fees you have to worry about. So the seller pays. So how much does the seller pay? And that largely depends on the services that you're getting. There are lots of discount brokerages out there, but it is absolutely impossible to get high-end service if you are looking for a discount. If you want a discount, you have to be aware that there are only certain brokerages that will give you a discount, and only certain things will come along with that discount. You can't do the high-end marketing, photography, video tours, all of that kind of stuff, nice brochures, everything that you expect to see, if you are paying discount real estate fees. That just goes without saying. So I just wanna make sure everybody's aware of that. So the standard fee for most agents in Toronto is 5%, and that is 2.5% to the buying agent and 2.5% to the selling agent. Certainly you're going to see more and you're going to see less. It really just depends. Some agents will do full staging. Some will do it for 5%, some will charge 6%. Some will do much less and only charge you 1%. So uh, at this point I would say, you know, you have to be very careful. Um, if your concern is how much you're paying in fees, um, you really have to take a hard look at your asset and what you are expecting to get from the result of the sale of that. I think in most cases in life, you get what you pay for and do your research and make sure you have a very good understanding of what the fees are going to include and what you expect from those fees. Okay. As always, I'm here if you have any questions, um, just reach out anytime. Feel free to share this with anyone you think that might be interested and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.